I ran track my whole life. I saw Terry and Andrea. I don't know it, when I was 16 if I would have thought it was fair to compete against you. Now I'm 49 and I'm a lot hopefully wiser. Um, I know what it means to you. How do you answer that you don't have an advantage? <laughs> Tell me how you really answer it. Um, how I answer is that regardless of who's tall, stronger, I feel like we're all kids at the end of the day and we all should be able to participate in sports because we're in high school and it's a fun thing to do. It is a fun thing to do. But Andrea, as you know, it's a fun thing to do, but it comes with scholarships. It comes with advantages if you make it to the top tier. And so for people, they take it. We watch people get crazy over six-year-olds in baseball. <laughs> and they, they, both teams are bad. But in this, you know, we saw the videos and the clips. People take it personal. They don't see it as fun. How do you explain it? We do sports as an outlet. And for some, for some people, this is a way to get away from certain things in their lives, whether that be home and just things like that. So I think sports has a bigger impact on the kids who play that sport. And it's not always all about winning and losing and things like that. Yeah, people people have marginalized like sports now to where it's it's like a super serious thing. Why can't we just go back to where like it's just fun? Well, it's, like, I fun think to because do. people get scholarships. They get full rides to colleges that they wouldn't be able to go to. They make a lot of money yeah, and that, in and sports, and that's yeah. the dynamic. Yeah, and that's true. But um, like, I go, to, I reached out to my coach. No one reached out to me, so I seeked out those opportunities for myself. If I really wanted to be a part of the sport that I'm in, um, it's not just about like if you're good at your sport. There's also grades involved too, which grades is super important. Number one, when it comes to school. And you guys are all doing great academically. Yeah. yeah. So we got that covered. <laughs> we got that covered. So there are three girls from Connecticut. They're suing to block the state's policy that permits transgender athletes to participate in the athletics consistent with who they are. Um, Terry, you and Andrea, this could affect your ability to run in the category that you identify with. If they win, what does it mean for you more than about being able to run? Um, to me, like, the sport in general isn't about, like, the wins. Like I said, yeah. um, if they want to take back the medals or whatever, they can have it. For me, it helps keep me safe because I feel like where I come from, um, there's a lot of dangerous stuff going on, so track helps keep me out the mix. So I'm always busy with just that, and I'm getting, like, good things out of it. Like, I'm in shape, and I just feel happy doing it. How do you feel when you have parents, grown-ups? How does that feel to have them expressing such anger toward you? How do you process and handle that? Um, when I first, like, got, like, all the attention, it was just, like, kind of hard because, like, I was always, like, a quiet person. But after a while, I just ignored it and let, like, my, like, the adults in my life, like, Andrea, mom, my mom, my coaches handle it because they know how to handle it in a good way. Do you feel it's more the parents and less the people you're competing against? Definitely. You all yeah. say that. Yes, definitely. definitely. Really? Yeah. Definitely. Um, when I, back when I was in high school competing, it was, it was not less kids who were really coming back at me. It was really their parents because they all, their parents grew up with certain views and their kids are growing up in a different generation mm -hmm. than we are. And I feel like all of us on this panel are that stepping stone to a new generation. Absolutely. You're the stepping stone. Yeah. And that's why, I'll be honest with you, it was hard for me to admit, as I said, I ran track, and if I'd seen you, I would have been like, oh, my gosh, of course they're going to win. You know, but a part of being honest is the evolution. And I'm from a different generation, but I've educated myself, and I've been around enough to know that it's not about us. It's not about the 50-plus-year-olds. It's about y'all. You're going to break these barriers to get people to understand. <laughs>